Hopping right into this beauty game, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a lace closure wig today. So, you're going to need some aluminum foil to place your closure on top of, and then some BW Bleach and 40 Developer because the first thing we're going to do is bleach the knots on the closure. Now, for me personally, I just use a scoop and a half of bleach, and then I go ahead and measure the developer by eye because we want a very thick consistency for this because anything too liquidy and runny will end up seeping through the lace and then end up bleaching the hairs on the other side and that's just not a problem you want. So make sure that the consistency is very thick and then go ahead and apply it to your closure. I personally like to use a knife as if I'm buttering a biscuit or making a PB&J, you know, because it doesn't seep through, it doesn't push down the bleach. I just find this to be the best method of applying it. Now after you're done with that, go ahead and flip over the closure onto the aluminum foil and fold over both sides. Do not push down, okay? Do not push down. Now set a timer for 25 minutes to let the bleach do its work. I personally allowed the bleach to stay on for almost 30 minutes, but I just say set it for 25 just so you can check on it to make sure it's not over bleaching. Now when your knots are fully bleached, it's time to rinse off the bleach and developer concoction. So I went ahead and used warm water to do that. Then I'm going to go in with my Shimmer Light Shampoo, which helps in stopping the bleaching process so that it won't go any further than what it's already done if that makes sense. So I go ahead and scrub, 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 and I apply a little bit to the hair itself just in case some of the bleach got on there. Then I rinse it out. I did this process twice, but it's okay to just do it once. Now here I'm showing you guys what dome cap I use, and then I'm gonna apply it to my foam mannequin head. Making sure the two lines that go down the middle of the cap are aligned perfectly with the middle of the face. Now here I'm showing you guys that bolded curve that makes the U-shape around the closure. You want to take the very end of the flap right there and that's where you know where to start sewing which is why I'm t-pinning it down on both sides as you can see now this kind of goes into the harder part you have to make sure this closure lays as flat as possible like you see here not like this no gaps or anything or it will not sew right it will not lay right and girl your closure wig will be all jacked up so make sure that it is completely flat before you begin sewing and now that it is time to sew it's pretty much self-explanatory and as you guys can see here on the screen that's how I sew my closures onto my wig oh but the important part is with this elastic band dome cap do not I repeat, do not sew through that elastic or it will not stretch, it will not get on your head, okay? It's just that band around the dome cap that is the no safe area. When you get past that onto like just the regular stretchy cloth, you're fine, but make sure you do not sew through that band, girl. Do not do it. Anyway though, I just continue sewing around the perimeter of the closure all the way around until I get to the other side and I finish it off with a knot and then I cut it away. Now as you can see, that closure is as flat as a pancake and that is how we want it ain't going nowhere so now on to applying the tracks to the dome cap you are going to measure out your bundle from one side of the closure to the other and then you're going to hold your finger in the spot that you measured and then cut it oh and another crucial step to make sure no glue ends up getting on your head you want to apply a plastic bag to the foam head before you begin gluing the tracks onto the cap now here is an up close look at the hair bonding glue that I use and then I apply it to the wefts of the track that I cut to apply to the wig cap. And then I'm going to place the track exactly how I originally measured it out from one side of the closure to the other. And then you're going to press down and hold firmly for a good mm, 30 to 45 seconds. Those are the same exact steps you need to follow every single time. Go ahead and measure out the track, cut the track, apply the glue to the track, and then apply the track to the dome cap exactly how you measured it out. Keep doing this process and then you'll eventually get to this point and you'll see that a U-shape is starting to form the higher up you go. And a side note, just some quick specs on this hair. This is the Malaysian Kinky Curly Hair from Peerless Hair Company and you guys, when I say I've never been so satisfied with some curly hair extensions before while making a wig, like you know how when you unravel a bundle it kind of like tangles a little bit, blah blah blah. These tracks came apart like butter and to me in my mind that means like this hair is A1. So I definitely say so far so good with this hair. Continuing on though, now that you've created a smaller U, you're going to start placing the tracks horizontally. As you can see here, up until you get to the very end of that closure. So to finish things off, I like to just add a little bit of glue to the ends of that final track. And then I'm going to go ahead and let the closure out and I'm going to let it air dry overnight. Okay without touching it. 
Now the next morning, this is how the wig turned out. It is all dried and it is gorgeous. Like, look at the curls, look like y'all, y'all. But anyway, we're not done yet. We're gonna have to cut off that dome cap so that the lace of the closure will show. So you're gonna go ahead and cut around the perimeter, but make sure you do not cut too close to where you sewed because if you do, then everything will unravel and you have wasted your time, boo. So make sure you're very careful not to get too close to the threading that you created. Now, if you did it correctly, you should only be able to see your closure, like I'm showing you here. Now, the next step is to kind of customize it because that hairline is so unnatural, okay? So you're gonna slightly pluck a little bit just by making small little parts in the hairline, and you don't wanna over pluck either. So make sure that you're every once in a while going through with a small comb to comb out any hairs that you have already plucked because if you don't it's gonna look like there's more hair there than it really is and now you see how it's starting to have like a gradient effect that is what you want and you want to do that all along the hairline so just pluck in just plucking until the closure starts to look more natural like I'm showing you guys here so yeah after the hairline was to my liking I went ahead and kind of made the hair damp so that I could brush out any other strands that I may not have gotten from combing it and then I'm gonna go ahead and clip both sides out the way so that I can cut off that remaining unnecessary lace so as you can see here I am clipping away that lace that stuck out in the front of the closure right along the hairline making sure that I don't cut too far back because I worked so hard to make that hairline as natural as possible now if you'd like you can stop here and your wig is complete but the next step can help with the security of the wig on your head so you're going to take an elastic band and sew it in the front of the closure starting with one side as you can see here and then before you sew the elastic band to the the other side you're gonna have to measure out to make sure the band fits around your head comfortably so I pulled the band from one side of the closure to the other and once it felt pretty snug on my head I went ahead and cut it and so the other side off camera so here I'm showing you guys how the wig looks on obviously I didn't slay my edges this is not how I would actually wear it out but I'm just showing you guys how it looks on me but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it informative please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and until next time guys. Bye.